Sometimes you'll have a citation for a source and you'll want to actually locate that article or book or other material to use. Maybe you're looking at a bibliography and you've decided that a, an article sounds interesting and you'd like to find it and read it. Or maybe your professor has given you an article to look up. In any case, when all you have is a citation, how do you go from that citation to the actual material? That's what this video is all about. The first step is to determine whether it's a book or a journal article. It could also be some other type of source, such as a government publication, or a radio transcript, or a video. But in academic research, books and scholarly journal articles are the most common type of source material, so that's what we'll focus on for now. When we look at a citation, there are key characteristics that can tell us whether it's a book or a journal article. If it's a book, it will have a city of publication and a publisher. If it's a journal article or a magazine, it will have a volume, issue, and page numbers. Depending on the presence of those two characteristics will help you determine what your next step is to actually locate it. Let's take a look at an example. This first citation Pike PY 2010 from Utopia to Apocalypse, Science Fiction and the Politics of Catastrophe, Minneapolis, Minnesota, University of Minnesota Press. I know this is a book because it has a city of publication, Minneapolis, and a publisher, University of Minnesota Press. These citations are all in APA style, but regardless of the style that's used, you'll still be able to tell whether it's a book or journal article because of the presence of these characteristics. It may just be formatted slightly different. Once I know it's a book, it's a fairly simple operation to go from this citation to the book itself. Let's do it. So, I'll just take the title. I could use the author, but title is usually the best way to go. From Utopia to Apocalypse and I'll look it up in either the library catalog or OneSearch. Here I am at OneSearch on the library's homepage. I've put the title of the book into the search bar, selected books, and now I'll click search. You can see that we've located the book from Utopia to Apocalypse. It's available either as an ebook in three different versions, or as a physical book in the general collection. If I want the ebook, I just click one of these links, and if I'd like to retrieve the physical book, I can write down the call number, go upstairs in the library tower, take it down, and check it out. Let's look at this next citation. Here we have Bostrom N, 2003, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation? Philosophical Quarterly, 53, 211, 243 through 255. I know this isn't a book because there is no city or publisher. However, it does have volume, issue, and page numbers. Therefore, I know that it's a scholarly journal article or possibly a magazine. The steps are the same for either one of those. So now, in order to locate it, I once again need the title, but in this case, I need the journal title, not the title of the article. How can we tell the difference? Well, typically, the journal title is italicized. However, that's not always the case. So instead, we can make sure that it's the journal title because it's the text that immediately precedes the volume, issue, and page numbers. So I can take Philosophical Quarterly, and in this case, there's a slightly different set of steps to locate the article. Since this is a known item search for an exact journal article, I wouldn't just search a library database to try and find it. So I wouldn't go to a research database such as OneSearch or ProQuest Central. Rather, I need to search all the databases at once to see where this journal is available. And to do that, I use the Find Journals search. Put the title of the journal in and click search. 
this will now tell me wherever this particular journal might be located. It could be in any number of different databases, across any number of date ranges, and it may even be physical in print in the library. Here we can see that the Philosophical Quarterly is available in two different databases with two different date ranges. So my next step would be to check the date of the article that I'm interested in. So returning to my citation, I can see that this was published in 2003. Looking back at my result here, 2003 falls in either one of these date ranges. I usually choose the larger availability. Once I follow the link, I just need to navigate to the appropriate year, 2003, volume and issue. Volume 53, issue 211. So here we are, volume 53, issue 211. And then I'll just find the title of the article that I'm interested in. Page numbers 243, are we living in a computer simulation? I can then open the article itself and I've found it. There's one last possibility that we should consider. Here we have another citation, and in this case I know it's a journal article because of the volume, issue, and page numbers. And when I look up the title, again, the journal title, not the title of the article, so Futurist, again using the fine journal search, I then once again compare the year that it was published, so in this case 1985 with the available date ranges of databases. But when we look at the available date ranges you'll see that none of them go quite as far back as 1985. In that case we see that there's another option available at the bottom Arkansas State University Print Holdings. If I follow that link I can then look at the older issues available in print and in this case we have 1979 through 2014. Remember my article was from 1985. That falls within this date range. So in this case I would have to get the physical article from the physical journal in the library. There's one last possibility for when you're trying to find a source from its citation. And that's when your citation leads nowhere. That is, you use the journal search to try and locate a journal article and you get no results found. Or you go to look up a book using one search or the library catalog and again no results found. When that happens you must resort to interlibrary loan, ILL. -L. Let me show you how this might happen. So here I have two citations. The first is for a journal article and the second is for a book. So let's look up this first journal article. As you can see it's from JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association. And so this is the piece of information that we need to begin our search. I'm on the library's homepage now as usual. I've gone to the Find Journals search bar and I've put in my search term JAMA. In this case I'm going to do title equals because I happen to know from experience that there's a whole bunch of different JAMAs and I just want this exact one. Here we have the Journal of the American Medical Association. It tells me that we have it from 1998 to one month ago in Medline Complete. So now looking back, I see that this article is from 2020, volume 324, issue 18. So here we are at the journal article journal page, 2020, 324, 18. The article title I'm looking for is COVID-19 Antibody Tests Perform Well in Head-to-Head -head Comparison. 
And if we scroll down, we see COVID-19 antibody tests perform well in head-to-head -head comparison, and yet there's no PDF link. And when I click Find Full Text at A State, you'll see that it comes up with, sorry, this item is not available. Please use options below to get it. And so since it's not available, I have this option for request through interlibrary loan. So in this case, if we return to the results initially, we can see that this is only available up to one month ago. Well, this article happened to be from this very month, so it's simply too new to be available yet. So I would need to submit an interlibrary loan request. And there's another video that I've created that explains how to do that. So our second citation is for a book, The Joy of Search, a Google Insider's Guide to Going Beyond the Basics. We know that if we want to find a book, we can use one search. First, I need to check the box that says books. I'm just going to put the title in quotes and I'm going to put the author's last name. And you can see no results were found for this search. This means we don't have the book. And so again, I would need to use interlibrary loan to request the book from another library. 